everyone! Thank you for ending your week with me. So today, for a Friday, I thought I would do my most recent Amazon haul. I haven't even opened it, so you're going to experience them with me. So let's jump in. So the first thing, I'm going to pull it out because I'm so excited, I can't wait to open it, is my purse that I ordered. Um, this was around $20. There's a puppy. This was around, I think, $19.99, and I have Prime, so it was free shipping. So let's see how the quality is. <laughs> All right, so it came in a couple colors. I want to say red, black, this kind of tan cream and maybe a blue. I'm not 100% sure, but all these items I mentioned, if they're still available on Amazon, I will actually link them in the description box below. So I wanted a cute little backpack style purse. Um, I seen a couple at Walmart that I liked, but honestly I wasn't super thrilled. And then I found this one on Amazon for basically the same price. So I went ahead and grabbed this. So it opens up into this large area. And then what I like is it also has these zippers that extend it. So you can actually open these up on either side and it extends the size of this large section. Okay, so there is an inside. Oh, the inside's like a pretty, I don't know, it's kind of a gray, I know you can't see it right now, but it's like a grayish, maybe even almost a purple. Okay, so it's got a zipper pocket and then an, a Ooh, an area on this side. It has, let me see, two, oh, it's too dark. Oh, there we go. It's got like two, ugh. Okay, so the feeling of the fabric on the inside isn't that nice. It's like very plasticky, but what I'm really thrilled about is how pretty the actual outside is, so that works for me. All right, let's zip that up. And I like that it's like the button. I like how this part clasps just with a magnetic button or a click-in button. Yeah, it's magnetic-y. Let's see. Or possibly it's broken. Let's see. Oh, yes! Yes, it is magnetic, so that's nice. And then there is a zip pocket on the back, which is probably where I would keep my keys and my phone, so it's closest to me so that people cannot grab it. So I'm really thrilled with this. Um, the sewing looks nice. The stitching, I mean, the stitching looks nice. It's already like a little creasy back here, but for 20 bucks on Amazon, I'm, bucks on Amazon, I'm pretty pleased with it. So then, um, if I remember correctly, I seen well, not this item. Let me grab the actual item. I seen this item mentioned in one of, I'm so sorry if I butcher your name, the Taylor or the Talia. I'm not 100% sure. I will link, if I find the video that this was mentioned in, I will actually just link it below so you can go watch it. She was talking about she had ordered these bags on Amazon. So where I live, there isn't anywhere like for a recycling center. So I wanted to do something to help the environment. And she had mentioned these grocery bags, and I thought, well, that was a great idea. So I ordered these bags that she had mentioned. If I can get into the package, my goodness. Yes. Okay. So it's supposed to be five reusable grocery bags, and it had different patterns that you could choose from. And this was just the particular one that I picked. I'm curious to see how big they actually are in person. Okay, so... Here's one. They're not, I mean, they're more durable, I would say, than a regular grocery bag, but not quite what I was expecting. Okay, that is actually, that's pretty large. I'm actually impressed with that. And it actually folds up into itself. Um, and goes in this little pocket so that you can store it. I had watched a tutorial from this company on Amazon. So that's one pattern. Here's another pattern that comes in this pack. 
You know, I'm going to be honest, I don't think these are the patterns I ordered, but I'm still okay with them. So here's this pattern. This kind of black geometric-y looking one. And then this one. So I have to be honest, I'm pretty happy with those. We'll see how they hold up. Now, will they hold all my groceries? Now, will they hold all my groceries? I'm not 100% sure, but if I can cut down even a little bit, well, that's better than nothing. The next thing I ordered came from the same company. It's called B Green. And these are actually a nine pack of reusable produce bags because I go to the store and I always put like my meat in a bag and then obviously all my produce and that's quite a bit. So when I seen these, I thought I would go ahead and grab these and give them a try as well. And what I like is they actually come in different sizes. So like, let me pull one out. Okay. So here's like a small one and it's got drawstrings and then the um, the listing on Amazon said that these are they are machine washable but they're best hand washed um, and I noticed in the comments some people said not to machine wash them so here's like a larger version and then also the different sizes are color coded with this little tag so there was red and blue oh and then here's a green version red blue green yeah okay so that's the color so there's three sizes there's red there's green and then there's blue for the largest and then I ordered for my phone and my camera a ring light um, there's no company name on it or anything but again I'll go back and I'll link it in the description box but I was very happy with this number one it took two AAA batteries and number two it actually had three different light settings which I had not noticed in the description knew nothing about that and so when I found that out I was pleasantly surprised and it actually does very well so I am very very happy with this and I want to say this was under ten dollars so happy with that Then the next thing I ordered was from Lamora. Um, it is a flat kabuki brush. I wanted to try one and I couldn't really find one in stores that I liked and I um, looked on YouTube and just Googled and this was one of the top rated Amazon kabuki brushes. And so far I like it. I, I'm having a hard time with it. I don't know if I'm not using it right. So I don't think it's the brush's fault. I think it's user error. Um, well one, my skin is dry, so I do tend to stay with a beauty blender, but like when I get done, I still have brush strokes. So what I think I'm going to do is how Allie Glines uses it. She spreads the product with like a brush. She doesn't use a flat kabuki, but she uses a brush. She uses the Real Techniques brush. She spreads it with a brush and then goes back over with the sponge to give it like the final pat or application to give it the not texture well maybe it is texture the finish the finish that she wants so I'm gonna try this again with that and I'll let you know how that goes then I actually got this at Walmart but I don't have like a Walmart haul so I'm just gonna throw it in I got this large powder brush from Walmart because I seen this in one of Juicy Jazz's videos Juicy Jazz um, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I've seen it in one of her videos, and I love it. It was like $5, and it's so soft, and it's so big. I absolutely love it. I use it, like, after. I don't use it for powder, per se, but I use it after I've done, like, my bronzer and blush, and then I'll just go back over and kind of buff everything out, make sure everything's blended nicely. I love it. It's so soft. Sometimes I just sit, and I'm just like... It's really good. It's actually um, the Equate brand. So in my Walmart, it was located over by like the nail care stuff. And so I highly recommend this brush. I thoroughly 
thoroughly enjoy it. And then more makeup brushes. Um, I don't know where my other set went. these brushes from Eco Tools, and this set is the Ultimate Concealer Duo, and I'll be honest, I used this one today, and I wasn't a super fan, but again, I'm super new to using brushes for my concealer, I usually just pat, 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 and done, but I wanted something, um, I wanted to try a brush, so I got these, so I'm going to keep trying this, and then I, that's not the right brush, and then I got this set. This was like the ultimate eye set. Uh, and these are eco tools. Um, this one's for blending. And then this one's for shading. For shade, define, blend, and smudge. And I'm going to be 100% honest. This, this end is my favorite blending brush. I don't know what it is. If it's the shape, if it's the bristles, I love this I don't know but I love it so I'll leave those below and then I also um, again this is not from Amazon but you can get this on Amazon I got this at Kroger and they had it on sale for like six dollars it's the physicians formula refreshment cucumber and bamboo, bamboo eye depuffer so I'm gonna start trying that out stick it in my bathroom for the morning routine and I'll let you know how that goes and then lastly, because I have a almost two-year-old, um, I wanted to start teaching him some sign language to try to help him with his communication so that when we get into that terrible two stage, he has hopefully some way, just little things where he can express himself. So I purchased this sign language, my first 100 words book. Um, he already listens to songs that teach him some but I wanted to learn more so that I could teach him and then hopefully when my youngest who's three months is older he, Stephen and I will already be communicating with sign language and then Weston will pick it up very easily because he's already seen his brother and I do it so I picked this book up and I'm really excited to look through it and start teaching my kids some sign language So that is it for this haul. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. And again, thank you for ending your